These fish are all from Africa, and different species of these fish are found throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, as well as the Nile River Basin. The big secret of these fish is they don't use visual communication in the way that humans or birds use visual communication, for example. Instead, they use electrical communication. So these fish communicate with each other using electricity. And without special equipment, we can't detect it. If you stick an electrode in that tank, hook it up to an amplifier, and then to a speaker or to an oscilloscope, then you can see that there's a whole world of electrical activity going on under the water that we're completely unaware of. They can communicate lots of different information. Who they are, their species, whether they're male or female, whether they're an adult or a juvenile, their relative dominance status, possibly even their individual identity. They can also communicate contextual information. So they generate different kinds of signals when they're being aggressive or submissive or territorial or when they're courting and trying to find a mate. They generate different signals. And it's a lot like uh, our own vocal communication. If you hear someone speaking, you can figure out who they are, but you can also get information about what they're saying what's important to them in the moment. These fish are communicating the exact same kind of information. As a scientist, I'm, my primary interests are in trying to understand two things. One, I'm really interested in trying to understand how brains process sensory information to make sense of the world. I'm also really interested in understanding the evolution of perception. Within our fish, there's two species flocks have been identified, and a species flock is uh, basically a situation in which you have, within a single geographical location, you have a very rapid speciation, where, you, where a single species rapidly speciates into dozens and dozens of species in a relatively short period of time. So it's basically really fast and dramatic evolution happening. And it's been found throughout the animal kingdom in different groups of animals. And within our fish, it seems to have happened twice. All of our best available evidence suggests the communication systems are probably playing some role in that process. In one group, the best available evidence suggests that the signals were playing a primary role in driving this species flock. In the other species flock, it seems like there might be some interplay between the signals as well as what we would call ecological adaptation. So these are fish where they've adapted to feeding on different uh, invertebrates in the water and their morphology has changed to reflect those adaptations and their signals have also changed and it seems like the two are working synergistically to strengthen the rate of evolution that would happen by either mechanism alone.